How's it going people, Simon Slap here, and this is your complete guide for the Tyrannon Easy Task Set at Days. So this is one full run to complete every single one of them all at once. So first things first, what do you require? Well, 60 range, 56 agility and slayer, 52 thieving, 52 magic, 50 fire making, 43 prayer, 10 crafting, 10 mining and 5 defense. Quest wise, you need Desert Treasure, Fairy Tale Part 2, Morning's End 1 and 2, the Path of Glothry, Regicide and the Underground Pass done. Item wise, you need arrows any type from bronze to dragon, a bow that can use said arrows, a crystal chime, a crystal teleport seed, hopefully with teleports, one Ivan staff, one full set of mourner's gear, a pickaxe, it does work if it's in your tool belt, one rope, runes for a shadow spell of any kind, so earth and deaths or earth and bloods, a tyrus helm, although that can be obtained during this little task, uh, a draymond staff or lunar staff if you haven't completed fairy tale part 3, and you must be on the ancient spellbook. So there we go. So hopefully you have all of that stuff. And if you do, as soon as you're ready, you want to make your way over to West Star Dome, as that's where we're going to be starting off. So this is one full run start to finish, no stopping everything you need to get your easy tasks done. So first things first, you want to head to the Mourners headquarters, which is literally just north of the entrance to West Ardy. Once here, you want to head down the trap door in the northwest corner and make your way into the actual headquarters themselves. So once you're down here, this is the main headquarters. If you're like me and you don't actually have the key and stuff on you to go through here, no worries at all. In the southeast room of this little area is a desk. All you need to do is simply search that desk and pick up a new key. So head into this southeast room, search this desk right here. You'll be given a few options. Choose option two for a new key. And with the new key in hand, you can now pass through the door towards the Temple of Light. So go ahead and do so. So the first task on our list is to actually kill a shadow in the Temple of Light with shadow spells, hence the ancient spellbook and the runes for shadow spells. So to do that you want to head pretty much directly west and keep running west. It's a really straightforward, nice and easy path. There's nothing in your way. It's just a clear shot straight to the Temple of Light. So make sure you have any kind of staff equipped and then make sure that you are on your ancient spell book that'd be handy make sure you are using an ancient spell and preferably do this in manual rather than in revolution since it can be a bit glitchy if you kill it with random skills or abilities so once you're on manual and you're using shadow spells just duking it and yeah as soon as it's dead that's pretty much it task complete nice and simple though really not a lot to it so there we go as soon as you get that happy days moving on to the next one then from this point you now want to head over to the underground path so to do that from your if it's been too long since you've actually entered the underground path itself it's in west star down in the far west side so all you need to do is simply trace your footsteps back to the hq head up top side and then run directly west until you hit the underground pass this little section going through the underground pass is the longest part of the entire task set Although it is fairly straightforward. And let's be honest, you've got nothing to worry about. I mean, you're watching the guide. Come on. So, make your way over to the Grand Pass. Once you're topside, head directly west. Nice and easy. So here we are then. So once you're at the end of your pass, go ahead and enter. So straight off the bat, you want to take the northern path here, and you need to climb over a little rock slide on the north tunnel. And then climb over another one about midway through, and then climb on another one at the end. Very, very easy. 
So once you pass this little tunnel, you want to follow and speak to this little blokey here next to the fire and quickly run through his chat and he'll end up giving you a cloth. Use that cloth on your arrows and on your one single fire arrow, go ahead and right click and light it. Once it's lit, equip it and equip your bow. Then you want to stand up on the north side on top of this little ledge here and you want to look at the little drawbridge. Go ahead and right click on it and go ahead and fire at it. Once you do so, your character will automatically run over towards the bridge. The bridge will drop and you will cross. Simple as that. So once you're here in the north side of this little cave here, you'll find a plank on the floor. Go ahead and grab that. With plank in hand, follow the pathway down towards your south. Then follow it over towards the east. It's pretty much a one-way path, to be honest. So follow the pathway over to your east. And on the northern side, you'll see this really dark patch here. Although you might not on screen, so I'm going to turn off my lighting set in a second, just a sec. There, this little dark patch right in front of me. Go ahead and use a rope on this, on the old spike. And you basically lob a rope across, and you will cross. Nice and easy. So again, follow this pathway all the way around. And there'll be another little rock slide here, which you need to climb over. And just a touch to your southwest will be another entrance, and you need to climb over another rock slide to get in. So this part, if you remember your sequence, then happy days. If not, then use a nice easy trick to do it. Check each individual one until eventually you find the one you don't fall through which may be your first attempt, or it may be your last attempt. So basically test all the first ones. If you fall down, it's not the correct one, obviously. Keep doing it until you find the correct one. And obviously, because I'm making a guide, mine just happens to be the last one. And then move on to the second square directly in front of it, and walk to the very edge. At this point you want to use the mage ability called Surge and you'll teleport across the rest of it, saving you a bollock and a hassle. And there we go. Once you've done that, you want to pull the switch in order to open the gate so you can carry on. So follow this pathway all the way over towards the west. And on the right hand side, on these little walls, you'll find odd markings. Go ahead and search them. There's two on the north side, and once you've passed those, there's two on the south side. Just simply search these odd markings and disarm them and make your way through this little passageway. So once you're into this large-ish room, there'll be a well in the centre, just go ahead and climb down there. Once you've climbed down the well, go ahead and follow the pathway over towards your west and eventually you'll come across some cages. You want to open up the far southeasternmost cage. It's literally the first one you come across. And once you do, you'll be able to dig some mud in the back side of this little jail, and you'll appear through the wall. Nice and simple. Follow the path over to the west until eventually you can cross this little ledge here. Go ahead and do so. At this point, you want to run all the way to the south side dodge in this little wooden bridge as that's not where we need to go. Now this is the main point of the task we have to go through here. So you need to walk through this little area although you need to zoom in very closely because if you happen to step on any of the bubbles then you'll fall into a pit and you'll have to pretty much come all the way back and take a lot of damage and it's just not worth it. So zoom in loads the bubbles themselves are fairly hard to see at least on high details you may want to lower it. But all you need to do is make your way through this little area without standing on any of them. Honestly, it's fairly simple as long as you pay attention and zoom in a bit. So there you go. So that's one part of this task done. We now need to make our way all the way over to the dwarves in the main chamber. So follow the pathway down towards the south and make your way through this little pipe here. And then it's pretty much a one-way system all the way to the doors. So just run all the way past these skeletons. There'll be another little cave entrance right by here. 
go ahead and go through there and follow the pathway all the way around. At the end of this pathway you'll find some doors, go ahead and enter through those. So at this point you now have a long ass run. You basically need to run all the way down to the south side and then start going a little bit to your west until eventually you come across a cave in the centre south side of this massive room. It takes quite a while, not gonna lie. But for those of you who are interested, if you ever need to go into the Temple of Light, this is an alternative way to do it, as you can talk to these dwarfs to actually enter into where the Death Altar is. So yeah, there's that too. But we need to go down, speak to one of the dwarfs down here named Clank, in order to complete yet another Tyranitas set, so here we go. Follow this pathway all the way around until eventually you start going a little bit towards your west. So here's the entrance you want to find right here. Go ahead and enter this little cave. And you'll see the doors right over here. Go ahead and talk to Clank. Run through his chat and choose option one. Any chance about your gloves? Run through the rest of it. You don't actually have to buy these, so you can just say no thanks. And as soon as you finish talking with them, you'll complete another task. So there we go. Managed to go through the underground price using the Thieving Shortcuts, and talking to Clank is complete at the days. So now you want to double back into that massive room, so head back to the cave and enter through there once again. And you now want to run up pretty much all the, up the east side for the most part. As we now need to make our way towards the Disciples of Ivan. So keep running north on this east side. Skip the first passage to the west. And keep going up until eventually you find another one. So once you come across the second little passage, across the wooden ledges, this is the one you want to take. So go ahead and walk up this, and jump over the first gap directly in front of you. Now follow the pathway north, and then when your option is north and south, go ahead and go south. jump over this little gap, follow the pathway down towards the southeast, and then jump another gap. And it's here you'll find your first Disciples of Ivan, so if you haven't already go ahead and equip your Staff of Ivan. Again make sure you're on manual for this just in case it starts to glitch out and go ahead and kill any of these Disciples of Ivan with the Ivan staff. And as soon as they are dead, that is another task complete. 
nice and easy. So once you've killed him, you want to head south again and jump another gap. And then head west towards the main kind of chamber. And then head through the doors. You then want to climb into this well. And then follow the pathway to the west and exit out into Tyrannon. So at this point you now want to follow the pathway to your west until eventually we come across a leaf trap as you need to successfully cross one of these leaf traps for yet another easy task. So it's fairly straightforward, just follow the pathway over to your west and right by here is the easiest leaf trap to come across so just go ahead and jump over this and as soon as you do that is another task complete. So cross back over it as if you're going back down to the underground pass and make your way back towards the entrance of the underground pass. Don't actually enter it, but make your way to the entrance. You'll notice on the north side, very close to the entrance, is some of the trees you can pass, the dense forest. Go ahead and do so. And then just to your northwest, when you exit out, will be a log you can cross over the river. Go ahead and do so. Cross the river. There'll then be a tripwire trap right in front of you. Go ahead and cross that. And just to the northeast of you, when you start to see the actual path, uh, just to the north of that is a little tiny mine. Make your way inside there and mine one limestone. It's so this little mine here. Just mine any limestone, doesn't matter which one, as long as you successfully mine one piece. As soon as you do so, another task complete. Oosh. So now that that's done, you want to make your way to your northeast to the Randar Pass, the giant massive gate, pretty much. You know where the mourners typically walk back and forth? Yeah, over there. And you need to have only the mourner gear equipped, and you need to pass through the Arandor Gate. And it's pretty much as simple as that, if you're honest, there's not a lot to it. So follow this pathway all the way around until eventually you come across the Arandor Gate in the far northeast of this little pathway. Make sure you only have your mourner's gear equipped and walk back and forth through it until eventually you get the task complete pop up. Nice and simple. So, as soon as you have only a morning gear equipped, walk through the gate once. And I doubt you'll have it pop up first time as you're exiting the Randor gate. And then enter it with just your morning's gear on, and you should get the pop up like that. So, there's another task complete. Happy days. At this point, we now want to make our way over to Hledia. So, go ahead and right click on your Tele Crystal and make your way over to Hledia. Or Slater, as you're too. E boy. Once here, you want to head east into the main room, just where the bank is, and in the north side of this little building, you will find Gwyn, or Gwess, even, either one. It'll be this bird here in this little room. Go ahead and talk to her. Choose option three. Can you show me whatever happened in the past? Choose any of the options to recount the past. Run through her nonsense, and as soon as you've done it once, stop talking to her. And there's another task complete. So next we need to recharge an empty crystal seed. So if you happen to have teleports left on this crystal, just spam teleport Fladia until eventually it doesn't have any left. As soon as you have an empty crystal teleport seed, you may want to make your way just out of Fladia. Follow the pathway north, go through the giant ash trees. Or the gates if you want to call them that. Uh, and then make your way all the way down to the south until you hit the magic trees. 
And if you're lucky, a Lunid will already be there, and all you need to do is simply talk to it and get her to re-enchant your teleport seed. If not, just stand around and wait for five minutes, and eventually a Lunid will pop up in front of you. So just wait around this general area. If a Lunid's here for you, just talk to it, re-enchant your teleport crystal seed. Uh, if she's not, then just do what I have to do and wait. So eventually, a Lunid will pop up. Go ahead and talk to it, as I said and enchant that teleport crystal seed. Happy days. So as soon as you've done so, you'll have another task complete. So next we're going to go over towards the terrace camp. So go ahead and home teleport and teleport over to Turan and Lodestone. This in and of itself will actually give you another task complete. From there, literally directly to your west, is some dense forest. Go ahead and climb through that. Just to the northwest of the dense forest you just walked through is some tripwires. Go ahead and climb over those. Or just run through them like I do. Either way. Just to the north of the tripwires is some more dense forest. Go ahead and climb through them. And then you want to follow the pathway around and to the west. And on the south side of the catapult will be some more dense forest, and you want to climb through that to get into the terrace camp. So from here you now need to get a terrace helm, or if you happen to have a terrace helm on you, just walk into the camp and equip it. If, however, you didn't get a terrace helm before starting this, no problem at all, you can go in whilst you're here. All you need to do is head over towards the ships in the southwest exit of this camp. And you want to right click on any of the charter NPCs and trade with them. And simply buy a Tyrus Helm from any of those. So once you've got your Tyrus Helm, make your way back into the Tyrus Camp. And once you're in towards the centre of the camp, just equip the Helm and there is another task complete. Simple as that. So once that's complete, you now want to home teleport and make your way over to Edgeville. If you've completed Fairy Tale, if you haven't completed Fairy Tale Part Three, at this point you will want your Draymond staff or the Lunar staff, either one, as we need to use the Fairy Rings. So I'm sure you already know where it is, but either way, head east past the bank as if you was going towards the GE through the Agility Shortcut, and just south of where our Agility Shortcut is is a Fairy Ring. Go ahead and use that. So as soon as you're able to, go ahead and use the Fury Ring again and make your way to DLR. It's the Poison Waste Teleport. And as soon as you appear, that is another task complete. It's quite straightforward, isn't it? Let's be honest. So now that you've done that, you want to use the teleport, uh, the fairy ring once again. And this time you want to use the fairy ring to make your way back up to Edgeville, which I do believe is DKR, 
or DKS, one or the other. So once you're back at the Grand Exchange, you want to make your way into the Grand Exchange yourself. So go ahead and use our agility shortcut this time. And you want to make your way over to the northeast corner of the Grand Exchange as we're going to be using the tree to teleport. So go ahead and teleport down towards the poison wastes as we now need to kill any either a warped terror bird or a warped tortoise. Doesn't matter which one you kill, we just have to kill one. So make your way into the poison waste dungeon and go ahead and stab one of these until it stops moving. Simple as that. So I'm sure you've probably killed these before, especially if you've got a chime. So nice and straightforward, go ahead and start hitting it, use the chime and make sure it's dead. And that is it. As soon as these things die, that is all of the easy tasks complete for Tyrannon. So that's it, congratulations. So the question is, what the hell do you actually get? Well, for completing this, in order to get the prize, you want to teleport back over to Tyrannon. So go ahead and use the home teleport to make your way there. And you need to speak to the Elven Tracker. He's literally right next to the Lodestone itself. For completing it, you gain a Tyrannic Quiver 1 with a prayer bonus of 1. That's pretty much it. You'll also gain an Antique Lamp of 10k XP in any skill above level 47. Uh, whilst the Quiver is worn, you will no longer fall in Leaf Traps. You gain a 5% damage buff against Mourners. After Plague's End, it will work against the Knights of Ardone that replace them. 5% of Tortoise Shells dropped by Warped Tortoises will now be noted. It will act as a Crystal Chime against Warped Monsters. You can teleport to locations in the Elven Limes five times a day, either to Cletia or wherever Elunid currently is. And at all times, you don't actually have to be wearing the Quiver for this, you can sell Limestone to Meredith at the Limestone Mine, and 15 Swamp Tar can be obtained per day from the Cletia General Store. So there we go, there are your prizes. And that is the entire Elven Easy Task Set. Happy days. So as I said, congratulations people, that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, the medium, hard, and hopefully the elite will be up soon enough as well, so keep an eye out for them if you're waiting for them. So until next time people, I will catch you all later. Have a good one. Oosh.